Hello YouTube. Uh, today is part two of refining or collecting and refining the gold from one kilo of ram fingers. Um, so this is the Eco Gold EX solution. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to electro win the gold out of the solution. Uh, on the anode I have a couple pieces of stainless on the cathode I have a piece of steel wool now you do need a power supply for this this is nothing special I think I bought it for $30 on Amazon so we're going to turn it on we'll set our volts to about two and a half right around there all right, and if you look at the solution, immediately, let me see if I can get to it. Immediately, you see bubbles coming off the stainless. Now what's happening is it's driving the gold out of solution, and it's gonna plate out onto the stainless steel wool. I'll let this run for a little while and give you an update in a little while. All right, it's been half an hour. Let's take a look and see what's going on. I'm gonna turn this power supply off. I don't want any sparks going on to the steel wool. It can catch fire. All right, we'll let it drain. This is the gold plating out on the steel wool. Not bad for half an hour. I'm going to keep it on and we'll let it keep going. Turn the power supply back on. And keep letting it run. Alright, six hours later, let's have a look. Most of this, uh, I generally run for uh, 48 hours, but as you can see, it's plating out great. Many times I get asked, uh, how do you know you get all the gold out? I let it run for 48 hours. But I just want to give you an update and uh, throw the voltage and amp set right now. You try to keep it in between half an amp and three quarters of an amp. If you don't, the bubbling you see coming off the anode becomes quite vigorous. Uh, I will, uh, it's getting late. I will give you an update tomorrow because I'm going to let it run all night. Alright, 24 hours later, there's my voltage, there's my amps. I'm going to turn this off. And let's look at the progress. You can see the gold is plating out nicely. Alright, it's been 48 hours now. Uh, it's done. I'm going to turn the power supply back off. And there we go. Now it looks kind of coppery because Eco Gold EX will eat up some of the base metals if you leave the material in too long. But, it still works. I still have this solution to run through the electrolysis process. I'll do that off camera because it would be the exact same thing all over again. Here's our still wool. I'm going to rinse it off with some water. Get the chemicals off of it. And once again, this is not a, an acid. It's actually a basic solution. And then what 
I'll do is I will take and cut the lower half of this with the gold bearing material on it off of the clean stain, uh, steel wool. Alright, so we've got some radic acid or hydrochloric acid, it's one and the same. Here is our recovered gold. Notice the gloves. I'm working with acid now. Now what I want to do is just cut any excess off to save acids. Now what will happen is the hydrochloric acid immediately began to dissolve the steel away from our gold. We'll let it sit. No need for heat. It's just going to do its thing. And I'll come back when the steel is gone. All right, the material is done with hydrochloric bath. I've rinsed it several times with distilled water. Uh, this is what we have left. We have some copper and the gold. Uh, if it shows up or not, I don't know. But I can see the gold. And that kind of wraps up uh, recovering the gold uh, using electrolysis with Eco Gold EX. Uh, next video, I will be going on to refining it. There's our gold.